sunflowers. I'm still in bed excited for the day. I'm literally just starting this video super casual here keeping it real with you guys. Today I'm doing a productive day in my life college student vlog. If you guys are new here, I'm a transfer student from Ole Miss to a currently Mizzou and Community College online student. I own a small business and my channel is all things productivity, positivity, and just creating your best life. So that's where we're at. And mostly it's a lot of vlogs. So it is currently around 7 a.m. I'm about to hop out of bed. I'm going to put on some workout clothes and head to the gym. All right, y'all, super quick, gym OOTD. I'm wearing this Mizzou sweatshirt that's cropped, Nike sports bra, like bunny leggings, and peak tennis shoes. All right, y'all, I just threw on my winter coat. I'm quick making my pre-workout. I like to mix the Walmart brand Fruit Punch. I've showed you guys this a few times, but I still get questions over on my Instagram sometimes, but I like these two together. So that's Walmart brand, and then I have this Alani New Rainbow Candy flavor, which is also super good. It's a little sour if you just have it plain, so I like to mix it like a little, maybe like an eighth of the cup. And perfect, we mix it up. And I will head out for the day. All right, y'all, we have arrived at the gym. The vibes are good. It's finally a sunny day after so many cold ones. I'm so excited to get my workout in. Okay, guys, so I actually want to chat with you guys really quick before I head into the gym because you guys know I'm always chatty in my car. But I wanted to talk about routine and falling off of it and mixing up your schedule. So basically, the past few days, I was just, like, not productive at all, which, first of all, I want to say is healthy and is good. Like, I needed a few days off of being productive. I felt a little bit of burnout coming on in some areas of my life if I didn't take a few days to chillax. So that's what I did, and I'm really, really happy I did. But it's all about taking those breaks when you need them and also coming back from them. You know what I mean? Like, it was the, it was the weekend, so it was a really good time for me to... I saw a friend, I took a bunch of naps, I watched, it's all the boys I've loved before, I baked a cake, like I just did like self-care, relaxing things, and now that it's Monday, I am so much more, one, it's really important to take breaks because then you're so much more excited to get back at it, like this Monday, I am so excited to make my to-do list and to crush my to-do list and crush my goals and work on getting where I want to be and get back into it because I took time off instead of feeling like another day, and then two, if you take your break and you're still feeling kind of, oh, I'm not totally like jumping out of bed excited for the day, try to mix up your routine. Like today I was way more excited to get up. I was like, you know what? I've been getting up, eating, having my coffee, doing my makeup, going upstairs, working, starting my school day, every single productive day for a minute. So I was like, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna go get a workout in and see how that affects my mood for the day and affects how much I get stuff done. So like I said, I will be updating you guys throughout the day and if I'm tired or how I feel or if I'm feeling more inspired and motivated, but I'm just so excited to get back on my routine and productive grind so I just wanted to say that too because no matter where you guys are at in your little journey you know you start today like start working towards your goals today we can all get back on track together I know right now times are weird so I feel like I get off track for a few days and I get back on that's, that's totally fine that's all part of it but we are going to get back on track together today so this is like your little sign go get a go get your body moving whatever that means for you crush your to-do list today all the things so yes we are going to head in to the gym i know that this is going to make me feel so much better i've never regretted a workout that's a little reminder too so all right let's go do this thing <laughs> Update you guys saw I got tiny little clips at the gym, but I just got home. My workout was so good. I can say so far I'm definitely feeling way more energized for my day and way more awake. Usually when I go to my 10 a.m. class, I'm like super out of it and I feel like my focus is gonna be better from working out in the morning. So we'll see. But I'm actually going to fix breakfast. I'm gonna have my coffee and bagel as I always do because that's like my favorite. Oh, really quick, really quick, you guys wanna say hi to Stormy this morning. For some reason, if I don't show her in a vlog, people comment and ask where she is. Like I'm not gonna just She's never gonna go away, guys. She's not gonna, I would never like, I don't know what people think happens. Like literally, I swear, if I don't show her like, in a productive vlog, cause a lot of times I'll be up in my office most of the day and she stays down here and plays with the dogs. People comment like, what happened to your black cat? Did you get rid of her? Like, Stormy is literally my child. She is going to be with me forever. She's moving with me wherever I go. Like she's my cat. So I don't know why people think that, but there's your stormy clip of the day. Stormy's not going anywhere. I love her so much, but I spend more time with her like off camera, like at nighttime in the morning and when I'm not working, but but she does not generally go up to my office unless she's like nappy just because it's like boring in there and there's no one to play with. And she likes to play with Molly during the day. So that's that. 
but love my stormy. All right, I'm getting my stuff to make my breakfast and my coffee. Y'all already know my favorite drink. I just found out they sell these in cans at Walmart. I need to try it that way for like on the go purpose, but literally you guys know I have this every single day. It's my favorite at home coffee ever. I say it in every vlog, but I also use this Italian sweet cream. This Walmart brand is actually my favorite creamer I've tried to date, so we love a good deal too, because that also means that it's cheaper. Y'all already know how much I love my morning bagel. All right guys, got my breakfast all prepped. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna watch some YouTube, have a moment. I love having a slower morning. Also, as we can see, camera did not eat first. Okay guys, so I just finished eating breakfast. I'm not gonna have time before class to do my makeup and like get ready for the day, but that's totally fine. I have about 10 minutes till class. So now that I'm up in my office, you guys already know I like to start my day with the chapter of The Defining Decade. I seriously am obsessed with this book. I've talked about it a ton recently, but I'm going to sit down and read this and then log on to my Zoom. And I might show you guys, yeah, I'll show you guys after my class how I do my iPad notes because iPad notes, like I talked about in my recent what's on my iPad video, have changed the game for me. It literally makes my life so much more organized. I feel like I keep showing like time lapses of it in vlogs, but not really discussing how I do it and everything like that. So yes, that's the move. We're going to have a productive day. Once my class gets started, I'll make a to-do list too because while he does roll call, I usually plan my day out. class just got out it was my astronomy class I currently still look kind of crazy because I haven't had time to get ready yet but I'll be in a bit but I wanted to show you guys how I do digital notes so I get a lot of comments asking like laptop versus iPad for online school so here's the thing I use my laptop for my zoom classes my zoom is pulled up it's up on this little laptop stand and that's just what's like projecting my class like that's how I'm actually in class and then like I've said a million times in videos I use my iPad for notes but I wanted to show you guys like, exactly how I do this and why I like it and everything like that. Okay, so I've showed you guys this before, but I use the app Notability. I create all of these little files, which I just use a little plus up here. So like for today, I had astronomy class. I started a new note, which you do in this corner, but I already did that. So I'm just gonna show you guys. And this is how I do my notes. I love it because I can use a bunch of colors without having to get like all these different pens out. I showed this in what's my iPad video, but I have like all these color options and same for the highlighters. I love the highlighting because it just makes it look more fun. You guys know I love bright colors and for me, if my notes are pretty and visually appealing, it makes it more fun to study them, look back at them and even just take them. So yeah, I just use this and then it just saves there and I have all my astronomy notes here. I have like, say I have analytics stuff. I have like my physical science class. I have all my physical science notes here. So whatever I'm prepping for, all my lab notes, whatever I need to pull up, it's just so quick and easy. So yeah, as you can see, I definitely take the most notes for astronomy because that's my hardest class, but I'm loving it. So I'll show you guys like a few other ones. Like this is my astronomy class from the other day. Here's another day of astronomy. It's just really simple and I feel like it keeps everything so, so, so organized and I definitely prefer this to paper notes. So definitely check out Notability. I think it costs a few dollars. I had it free from high school because I've actually been using it for literally like six years, I guess, because I used it when I, all the way through high school and loved it then. But I feel like I've started using it better since I started college because I like you taking advantage of like the folders and things like that. So definitely recommend and like, I think it's worth the purchase even if you have to buy the app. So 
Yes, all right, I just texted my dad to see if he wants to take the animals on a walk before I shower and get ready for the day because like I said, I wanna take advantage of the sunshine today and I want to take Miss Stormy out because it's been way too cold and snowy so she hasn't been able to practice like her leash training. If you guys watch my recent vlogs, I am harness training her. So I'm gonna take her out, I think, and then we have a big to-do list today. I think I showed you guys kind of but we have a lot going on. All right, my to-do list, I have it in my little day designer. One, I need to pack and ship Etsy orders. If you guys didn't know, I have my own small business called Change the Caption on Instagram, and it is an Etsy shop. It is a, right now we have mere decals and stickers, and it's about to grow. I'm pretty much gonna come out. My goal is one product a month and just keep adding and adding and growing that business, so I'm very excited about that. I need to fix my astronomy homework from my last week because my computer glitched, and what I submitted didn't go through, so I have to fix that. I have to take an astronomy quiz, Emails, I have to create Instagram posts for my business Instagram, change the caption. I need it to finish new sticker designs because I'm gonna have a new release coming soon to the shop. And I need to study for my astronomy test, which is in a few weeks because that class is really hard and I feel like I haven't been doing enough. So I wanna start studying way in advance so I don't get super stressed out right before the test. And I think that's the main things. I also need to make a thumbnail. I didn't write that down and upload today. If I hear back from the brand, I'm waiting for their approval so I can post it. But I'm just going to do some emails. My dad texted me back because he said we could take the animals on a walk on 11. It's like 10.50. So let's do business email super quick and then we will get some fresh air. All right, guys, I have Stormy on her harness, but I also brought her a stroller because she got up in it herself. So she can hop down whenever I just left it open. Hey guys, so update time. I'm back from the walk. I just hopped out of the shower so my hair is soaking wet. I'm in my robe and I'm sitting down to do my makeup for the day. And this is where I always love to chit chat with you guys a little bit. So I had a few things I wanted to chatter about as I get ready. I'm putting on my little Pond's cream right now. But first things first, I'm super excited to let you guys know that I opened a P.O. box, which I'm so excited about because you guys have been asking me about this for so long. I get DMs all the time of you guys wondering like if there's a way you can send me like a letter or whatever it may be and I'm always like ah oh, someday and I finally can say like today's the day I finally have an address that's available for y'all so literally no pressure all to ever send me anything but if you guys have been someone who's asked or want to or anything if anybody ever does send me anything I'll be sure to open it on camera whether that's on Instagram TikTok or my vlogs but I will for the future starting now and into the future until it closes I'll probably have it open for a long time though um i'll have it in the description box as long as it's open and you guys are welcome to use that address to send anything ever which again no pressure but just wanted to share that with you guys I, like i said i'm currently doing my makeup for the day because i want to make like a reel or tiktok today i'm trying to work on doing that like i've said in the past few vlogs and also just because like i've said recently it really helps me feel like my day is like a day <laughs> instead of just like waking up and being home all day it can get kind of sluggish if you don't make it feel like more than it is like i kind of treat going up to my office like i'm going to work or i'm going to school so i like to like get ready and put on an outfit and do makeup and hair and stuff and it just really helps me and it is pretty easy to do anyways because a lot of times i would want to get ready to work on my different business or social media things anyways and then the other thing i wanted to update you guys on which i'm so excited to be able to vlog it i actually booked a little getaway house yesterday i booked it and it's for next month so me and one of my best friends from high school that i see here like we literally hung out this past weekend it's just me and her and we're going to go stay this little getaway airbnb i'm so excited it's on the beach i have not had like good sunshine or had a break from everything for a minute and i think it's just going to be so 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 nice me and her both are she's a full-time community college student i'm a part-time community college student and it's that school spring break so we are going to go spend it by giving ourselves a moment and i'm so excited we are i think we are going to road trip it which is going to be so, so, so much fun. We are going to drive, it's like 12 hours-ish, I think. And we are just going to stay at this little Airbnb. It's like right on the water, which is gonna be so nice. I literally cannot wait, guys. I haven't been to the beach in like years and we're just gonna lay in the sand, soak up some sun, wear cute outfits, read books. It's gonna be so good. So I did wanna tell you guys that because I'm going to make some vlogs when i'm there but it's just gonna be a little me and her moment and just escaping the daily routine and 
yes i am going to probably also prep for that trip some in vlogs so that's a very exciting thing coming up and i'll be able to do fun little videos i was not expecting to do anything this year for spring break obviously and me and her started texting and we were like oh we could totally do this just me and her so yes looking forward to that i'm going to get into doing my makeup but those are my little life updates i'm trying to think if there's anything else um a little worried about my apartment in oxford if you guys didn't know like i did my move out vlog and i don't live in my oxford apartment anymore but i actually still technically am on the lease like i still pay like i still pay monthly rent and utilities and everything like that and since i'm not there at all i've been like kind of removed from everything but they had some crazy weather like most places in the past week so i actually put in a maintenance request and i'm really hoping that my pipes did not freeze because that would be quite the disaster to deal with since i don't live there and i never go down there but I don't know. That's a little side note. That's been like the only like little worry in the back of my mind that I don't really know the state of my apartment that I'm technically I'm not living in, but I'm in a lease with right now. If you guys are confused about that and you're new, um, go watch like my recent Q and A video. I think I addressed it in there, but yeah, I'm still on a lease and I'm really worried about the pipes being froze because I don't plan on ever like going back. So. That would be kind of a mess. Anyways, okay. I'm getting into a full chatter moment about all the different aspects of my life right now. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, y'all. So update time, I finished doing my makeup. I decided just to throw my wet hair up into a claw clip because I didn't want to put heat on it today and I got dressed. So I'm gonna quick give you guys an outfit of the day and then I actually want to go run and see if I can get any good outfit pictures. And then the rest of my afternoon, we'll be working on my Etsy shop and schoolwork. But I wanted to try and go get a little piece of content. So we'll see if we can do it. All right, guys. So time to show you all my outfit. I'm wearing this shirt that I thrifted. That is really cute lace trim, but it's originally from Target. I have these super duper cute leather overalls. Here, I'll give you guys like a shot like this. You can see the material. I got these from Goodwill when I was thrifting. And then I'm wearing this bag, which is from Princess Polly. I think it's super duper cute. Let me show you guys a better view of it. I love the mini bag trend right now, so I thought this would be perfect because the little hardware on these overalls is silver, so it matches, and yeah, let's go head out. I might pick up lunch too, we'll see. All right guys, so I'm headed out to do all of my errands basically for the day because this afternoon, like I said, it has to be a big work moment because I do have a lot to do, but I'm gonna go try to get a picture. I think I might grab lunch just to save time in making it today, and then I need to stop by the craft store to get transfer tape, I think, for the sales that I made these past few days. I think I'm out. Ordered some on Amazon, but whoa, my ear is so loud, but uh, I don't think it will get here in time. I wanna get these orders out ASAP, so that's the sitch. We'll see what actually happens but that's the plan we're in my car also i didn't update you guys i don't think i vlogged since but i got heating in my car and i feel like a fancy lady i haven't had heat in my car in a hot minute i didn't even like realize i just thought i didn't know you could fix that so i never said anything and apparently you can so your girl has heat in her car again and i'm feeling bougie about that one all right y'all let's ignore my dirty windshield but i found my little picture spot i'm going to use this little garage at this apartment right there Oop. <laughs> at this apartment complex by my house All right guys, I decided, let me roll this up so you can hear me better, but I decided I was craving Jack in the Box, so I'm gonna treat myself before I go pick up the supplies to finish packing my orders. And I'll have the cinnamon sugar donut holes for a piece. All right guys, so I just picked up my food. I'm so excited. I've had the mini tacos before. I tried them in like a mukbang. I did drink Vlogmas, and I've been craving them literally since and haven't got them since. And then I'm also trying I'm gonna try these donut hole things. I don't know, I saw them on the menu, caught my eye, and I was like, you know what? I had to treat myself, and then I'll have a productive day afterwards. Also, I think I got some good pictures, so very happy with that, because I just did it super duper quick. But, guys, Jack in the Box is what put me on to putting ranch on my tacos, and it changed the game. Can't wait to eat these. I'm gonna have one of these and just explain my love for them to you guys on camera, and then I'll try donut hole then. I'm trying to decide. There's like a craft store right here, but I kind of want to just go to Walmart because the transfer ship there is cheaper. So we'll see what I decide to do. But I'm so, so, so excited. You guys know I talked earlier in this vlog about how me and my friends are planning a little getaway. And I just feel like I haven't had something to look forward to in such a long time. So, you know, maybe reward yourself 
with something to look forward to and if it's just literally reward yourself with getting yourself some donut holes or being like if i work hard this week i will treat myself to starbucks on friday i don't know mm. it's literally three dollars for 15 tacos i mean they're mini but it's so good okay really quick before i hop off i'm gonna try one of these donuts on camera i really don't know if they're like filled with something or what they are i just saw them on the menu and i was like okay interesting they kind of just taste like bread I'm like a small amount of cinnamon sugar. Mm. I will say, I don't know if I'll get those again. Not my favorite. I was hoping they'd be like filled with icing or something, but these tacos cannot recommend more for $3. Honestly, I should start being like at the end of the week. If I work hard, I reward myself with this. I mean, here I am on a Monday, but something to look forward to. It can be as small as the tacos, but. Mm. All right. Finished lunch and I'm headed into Walmart to get my transfer tape for my crafts. Alright y'all, this is what I came for. Perfect. Okay you guys, so update time. I just got home from Walmart. I picked up this stuff and I just changed. I'll show you guys what outfit I changed into. This is the reality behind it all. I got my Insta pic, so we back in comfy clothes. Also, because when I got those overalls from Goodwill, the clothing like dressing room things were closed, so I couldn't try them on and they were so tight, like they're so cute, but definitely not comfy to sit around in all day. They were like squeezing my legs so hard. But this is what I'm wearing. I switched into this sun kissed sweatshirt, which I'll have a link below. This is my favorite sweatshirt I own and I believe it's by a small business. I got it for Christmas. I think it's so cute and it's so comfy and then I just have a little Lulu shorts on. I thought this would be better to go have my little office stay in because like I said, I already got the content I needed so we're good. But okay, we're gonna go upstairs. I need to wash my hands and we're gonna get right into Etsy work. All right, y'all, so I just washed my hands and brought my new transfer tape up here. We are going to make and pack orders. I have two hours to class and I'm really hoping to get this checked off my to-do list. I'll just ignore my growing pile of trash. I'm gonna watch a YouTube and have a small biz moment. <laughs> okay, y'all, this is a very niche thing to throw out there, but I wanted to tell you guys what I'm watching while I craft today. I am obsessed with the Duggars. I have literally watched a Duggar since I was like, as long as I can remember, 19 kids and counting, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And I stay up to date with like all the, without a crystal ball, like all the tea on the Duggar family. And I watch every episode that comes out. So um, I'm watching some Duggar tea while I do this. Please comment down below if you are one of the few people who falls into that strange niche on the internet. But I don't know, I just, I've always been intrigued by it all and I have stayed. So yeah, also, also my lifesaver with my Cricut stuff has been this little roller thing because one, I get a little paper everywhere and I can clean it up with this and two, in a house where we have pets, I have to be so, so, so careful because obviously I need no, sounds gross, but like no animal hairs in my workspace and sometimes they get into my office. So I have to like clean everything down hardcore before like I pack orders or make anything because obviously I want my business to be professional and that's just like basic sanitary -ness. So I've always cleaned, but what upped my ability to like keep my desk super clean and keep my workspace um, perfect for packing orders has been this because that was the hardest part when I first started this business. Like that's like a weird outtake. I feel like no business, maybe it's because most business owners like don't work out of their house, but literally keeping animal hairs out of my office because there can't be any in here. Like that's not okay. So I go to town on my office with this little roller thing literally every single day. I have to vacuum all the time, wipe everything down and just pay very close attention to my surfaces, analyze them and literally wipe it all this like literally my cat sitting outside my office right now and she wants in but she can't come in until all my orders are done because i just cleaned up before i turned on the camera and everything so yeah i'm gonna watch my dogger news comment down below if you guys understand what i'm talking about and prep my space cleanliness wise and then put my stickers through my vinyl decals back i'm making today
update time. It has been quite a bit. I just made a TikTok pack and order with me. I'll put my TikTok here because I'm always doing packing order little videos over there and they're super fun. But this is all ready to go. I also have been adding this tape, which isn't super cute around the top, but I read that the cold temperatures, I know like in whole United States has like been off and on really weird temperatures lately, has been like opening mail. So I've been trying my best to keep it as secure as possible. And even though it's a little less glamorous to have tape around the envelopes, I would hate if they opened and anybody received an empty envelope. That would just make me so sad because obviously I would send them a new one, but I don't want to have to deal with all that if I don't have to. So trying this tape route and so far all the orders that have been delivered have been good despite the weather stuff. So I'm going to set this aside. That one is all ready to go. That is the only one I had to ship today. Etsy is really great for small business owners because it gives me a to-do list every day with what orders need to be shipped out today, what orders need to be shipped out tomorrow, according to when I told customers they would be sent to them. So I have one due today and I have four due tomorrow. So I'm just gonna get those four for tomorrow ready to go and whatever ones are ready when I finish, when I get out of class, because I have class in like 30 minutes and then right after I'm gonna take whatever envelopes I have ready and then tomorrow I'll go take the rest of them. But I wanna have all of the stickers ready to be packaged, even if some of them don't hit the mail station till tomorrow. But this one is the one that needed to be shipped out today. So very happy that I got it all done. Gonna keep putting transfer tape on all of these because that is quite a little process because I also have to analyze them to make sure that they are perfect before I send them and everything. So I'm just gonna keep on watching Duggar T literally still and it's been like more than an hour, but I'm gonna do this until class time. I have my physics class this afternoon. So yeah, we'll do notes and Zoom and everything in a bit. All right guys, I finished up some more of the decals and I'm headed in to my 4 p.m. physics class. Between pressure and volume. Y'all, someone in this class, I just like muted it myself, does not know how to mute and my teacher is about to, like we're hearing their whole business. Okay guys, Zoom class is finally over. You guys can see it's a bit later because the sun's setting, so the lighting's less bright, but I think my mom brought home fazolis to go for us to eat. My hair's also falling out of this clip, but I'm gonna go grab some dinner downstairs. Okay guys, so update, I ate dinner, it was delicious. Literally, Fazoli's cheesecake is unmatched. It's so good, but I'm currently in the car, as you can see, it's dark outside. I'm at the post office parked. I'm about to go drop off some happy mail for change the caption. This one's headed to Oxford, Mississippi, which is where I used to go to college, so that's super duper fun. But I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because basically the rest of my day is just gonna be homework, and I don't really know, but I feel like this vlog's already pretty long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this productive day in my life if you guys have made an order from change the caption thank you literally from the bottom of my heart thank you so 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 much like this starting this business has been something i've always dreamed of like i remember when i was super little wanting to have an etsy shop and it's finally happening and i'm just so thankful for you guys for supporting me um if you guys want the information for the po box it'll be down below comment down below literally if you have any questions and i will be sure to get back to you guys but i love you guys all so much i'm sure the cars driving by are like what are you doing but <laughs> yes okay i'll see you lovely sunflowers in my next video remember you are loved you're important and you matter. Maybe it's true.